Hey folks, you know what? Q drops are, they're falling like crazy all over the place, almost every either five minutes, every 15 minutes, sometimes once an hour, but they're ongoing and they're continuing to go. So Leonard and I are jumping in here and we're gonna go over some of these Q posts. None of them are analyzed yet, but uh, you can go to our website at c-find.com in order to be able to look at the analyzation. But tonight we're just gonna be going over these Q drops. Today is May 24th, 2019. And again, I'm Linda Forsythe. And I'm Leonard Bacani. And we are here at CBI News Network and we're coming to you today with what we've been waiting for. Yesterday, President Trump, he ordered the D-class. It's here, folks. And so this is what's so exciting. And uh, there's going to be many more things coming also. In the meantime, Leonard, why don't you explain to them exactly what a D-class is for those of us that are new? D-class is just basically declassification. And classified information is material that the government has deemed it to be a sensitive information or secret, and it's protected. It's uh, only certain people with the right type of clearances can access classified information. So when the president or someone in authority declass, declassifies uh, some materials, then it's generally made available to you know, general public or in general. So here we go, okay. Well, we're gonna be sharing our screen to be able to go over some of these Q drops and uh, we're kind of new at this, so thank you for, for being patient with us um, utilizing Zoom. Um, as Leonard gets here, he is going to enlarge this for me to be able to read it. Yeah, that's the first key drop. Uh, basically, it, uh, President Trump gave Attorney General Barr the authority to declassify the documents related to his 2016 campaign and the illegal surveillance. Uh, that the FBI participated in, and as, as well as uh, the five I agencies. So the next drop is 33.37. Okay, can you enlarge that a little bit for me, please? <laughs> okay, um, here it is from Q, special approval. A setup X1 and it gives a link LL larger than paper trail larger than special entry all right FISA warrant issued approved for Manafort Mueller and Manafort FISA warrant issued approved Papalopoulos Mueller Papalopoulos FISA warrant issued approved page Mueller larger than page FISA warrant issued approved Flynn, Mueller and Flynn. You must target, remove, and silence all those illegally targeted for the FISA surveillance, plus the UK assistance. UK assist plus FISA surveillance included all upstream collection, plus tangent contract, uh, contacts, umbrella surveillance. Foreign target designator create leap fog hops to isolated real target, non-F comms, and then there's another link, which we will talk about in a few minutes. P talks to X. X now wait, let me explain this. Okay. Uh, basically, uh, when they get a warrant to surveil somebody, uh, if, the, the, if P represents the person that you're targeting, talks to on the phone or in person, talks to X, then they seek a warrant to spy on X. Now, if X talks to Y, then you get a warrant to spy on Y. But if Y talks to Z, you also get a warrant to spy on Z. So that's what that is. Okay, so it says basically this all equals bulk data collection. Uh, UK assists allows for normal FISO law, deconstruct. Deconstruct includes D2 spy insert. Deconstruct includes non-FISO warrant, spec ops warrant, spec ops classified public. Special ops. Now, what this is is uh, Q is explaining the flowchart and how uh, an F, uh, a FISA warrant was issued. And uh, LL, you'll see on the very top here, it says LL. It's Loretta Lynch. When you see uh, something in brackets, 
that, that means they are targeted. That means the white hats are actively targeting that person. <clears throat> so 3338. Okay, okay. Anonymous made a question to Q. So it was known that what was happening with a Deep State, but this trip happened in 2016. And then it goes on to say, and this looks like it's from Q answering, POTUS formally announced his candidacy, candidacy, candidacy on June 16, 2015. Why did the Hillary Rodham Clinton, which is what HRC stands for, campaign actively work to push POTUS as the right candidate for GOP. GOP, sorry. Why did the HRC campaign publicly attack POTUS opponents? Why did HRC campaign want POTUS to be the nominee? Did the fake news play along? Think pro nominee, pre nominee? What setup insurance file was created assuming POTUS would become the nominee? POTUS 1, Cruz 2, was Cruz the target of the separate illegal spy campaign? You'll notice that the Cruz, Cruz's name is underlined or highlighted. It is, basically, it's asking, um, was Cruz targeted? Well, that tells you that, uh, well, go ahead and read it and just kind of ties it in. Okay, so the next post, uh, that is 2657. The illegal surveillance of Congress, the press, and the separate intel committee, it says, when will the public discover that Ted Cruz was also illegally surveilling pre-POTUS R nomination? Okay, then it also says... Uh, C underscore A, that's a CIA. Okay, CIA illegal surveillance, members of Congress, CIA illegal surveillance, members of the press, CIA illegal surveillance, a Senate Intel Committee. So you can see that the illegal surveillance didn't just apply to uh, President Trump and his team. It also... Uh, this illegal surveillance extended to members of Congress, members of, uh, you know, Senate and uh, House of Representatives, members of the press, and also the Senate Intelligence Committee. Okay, so who ordered the surveillance? What justification was provided to authorize surveillance of elected officials? The surveillance fall under the scope of FISA warrant or internal to Department of Outsource to Five Eyes, which is what F-V-E-Y stands for. Reality check, friend or foe. We all spy on each other. Should we all be spying on ourselves? Should we be tasking others to spy on ourselves in order to avoid US law? Was the Five Eyes established and designated by the Intel community, community as a back channel surveillance apparatus to avoid domestic laws, triggers, and congressional Senate oversight. What lay logs exist to monitor Five Eyes vital intel collection? What ability do formal government officials have to uh, regarding ability to access CIA level 5i offshore data? How did HRC gain access to the highest uh, class SARs? Uh, closed system access and able to transfer to, oh, you're going to have to scroll up because I can't read that. It's over to the right. <laughs> uh, it, it looks like something server. Home server. Uh, home the server. home server. Okay, so what do you have to say about that letter? Well, uh, first of all, we, we discussed the five eyes, what that is. Well, basically, five eyes is a it's an alliance uh, comprising of five countries, the United States, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, and the United Kingdom. And they are bound by a uh, multilateral agreement for joint cooperation for intelligence purposes. So uh, what this is, is basically an alliance uh, and a 
um, agreement that if they want their own citizens spied, they can ask somebody from the Five Eyes to spy on them versus our own intelligence agencies spying on our own citizens. Wow, okay. Okay, so going up to 3339. Okay. Um, okay, Anonymous asks, is POTUS going to ask the Queen about UK assist? And Q answers, foreign assist underway with Department of Justice. And he gives a link there, which goes to uh, GC, GCHQ. Uh, what, what's that stand well, for? Well, basically, this guy was the uh, spy chief for the United uh, UK. And uh, he had uh, only joined the agency just two years prior to President Trump announcing his candidacy. But uh, he, uh, shortly after, he had to step down. He was either fired or he left on his own accord because I think he got caught. He got caught because they knew that he was involved in illegal surveillance activity of United States citizens, mainly uh, President Trump. So that's what that's all about. Uh, you're going to see Robert Hannigan. That's going to be a common name. You're going to hear his name come up now that you're uh, the FISA documents are being released. You're, you'll see his name quite a bit. Well, it says here, Hannigan only took over the UK surveillance agency in November 2014 to oversee a more open approach after revelations by the National Security Agency whistleblowers Edward Snowden put GCHQ on the defensive in 2013. His sudden resignation, he informed staff just hours before making this decision public, prompted speculation that might be related to British concerns over shared intelligence with the US in the wake of Donald Trump becoming president. But the GCHQ press release stressed his decision was exclusively for family reasons, as well as his ill wife. Hannigan has two elderly parents to look after. He will remain and post until a successor is appointed. Okay, um, all right, it says here, we're sorry to announce that Robert Hannigan our director since 2014 has decided to step down as head of GCHQ. And uh, this looks like it happened January 23rd, 2017. In a press statement, he said, I've been lucky enough to have some extraordinary roles in public service over the last 20 years from Northern Ireland to uh, number 10, the cabinet office and the foreign office but they have all demanded a great deal of my ever patient and understanding family. And now is the right time for a change in direction. You know what, it's always uh, family reasons when they get caught. Uh, he didn't leave on his own accord. He was either forced to resign or he got fired. He got caught spying on uh, US citizens. Okay, post uh, 3342. All right. Okay, regarding read five eyes, avoid U.S. data collection laws. Hussein, public dossier FISA, not public. Five eyes, UK, Australia, POTUS targeting using pushed Russia decoy meetings, campaign insertions. Hussein, Hillary, Rodham Clinton, Loretta Lynch, Brennan Clapper, National Security, um, I'm not sure, WH. White House, uh, well, <laughs> Situation Room. Uh, and I can't read that last Operation. one. Operation UK Australia Assist Setup, and that's from Q. Okay. All right, so the next post, which is post number 1745, Anonymous writes to Q, no, the truth was not revealed yet. FISA didn't have much impact, to be honest, or there is still something missing to it, which reveals the whole truth. And Q answers in the next post, FISA equals start. FISA equals immediate conference of illegal acts regarding signers. FISA 
immediate con start of Hussein spy. Campaign to rig an election was based on false info. FISA equal implicates HRC. Democrat Party is feeders of false info with the intent of securing mainstream media and blasting insurance. FISA implicates senior members of the UK, US Intel, White House, Five Eyes, Republican Party, Congress Senate of known corruption in effort to retain power and rig election, plus safeguard events by political kill to act while in power giving mainstream media fake push Russia narrative. FISA equals ties mainstream media heads. TV behind corporation. To Democrat Party, other foreign heads of state in co-op strategy. FISA brings down the House. FOIA does not include FISA. Declassified by POTUS, key parts that factually demonstrate the dirty fake dossier was used primary source to secure highest level of intel, spying on primary Republican opponent, uh, plus post-election intel assets uh, for DOM spying, spying on the President of the United States for the Office of the Presidency of the United States of America. Logical thinking. Public awareness? FISA spying. Foundation built Hoover. No spelling errors intended. Mobile unknown, if above. Q. Is about uh, the background, but um, oh, okay. So this is let me see here if I could find it. Thirty-three forty-four. I did a post on this, and uh, uh, basically I said that earlier, earlier um, in the day, uh, Ron Styers, who is our uh, Seavine's chief of investigations, messaged me uh, with a thought that I had been thinking about earlier. And he said, if Q, um, I'm sorry, if C comes before D, Comey could be tomorrow. AG bar next week while the house is on vacation. Well, you know, and then right after I received that message from Ron, I, uh, Q drops this, uh, this post. And basically he says, what about the Comey report? And he says, moves and counter moves. Misdirection sometimes create one person to turn to another. Public to publicly see or in coming soon. So basically what we witnessed, uh, go back here. The most recent uh, post uh, in what we witnessed is a perfectly executed military plan. Every military operation involves psychological operation or psyops. You put some something out there, uh, planning for a certain sequence or a move, for example, C before D. This causes the enemy to panic, and the rats scramble and try to save their own, say, arse, mm -hmm. and they turn on each other, just like we witnessed. Well, the enemy starts calling each other to discuss their next move and how they're gonna cover it up. In the meantime, the white hats are monitoring their every move, which is evidence of a cover-up. The plan is planned to, to the minutia. Trust the plan, trust Q, trust the president, trust the white hats. Timing is essential, so things cannot be rushed. So please be patient. The goal, the goal line is near. So that's what I wrote about that post. And then we have some uh, uh, posters, it looks, looks like, for movies. <laughs> and this is a movie, The FISA Gate. And here you have Loretta Lynch, you have Comey, Obama, Hillary, and uh, uh, McCabe. So uh, on the next post, you have some more movies, uh, obviously. The movie 45, Trump, uh, uh, President Trump is president, uh, 40, the fifth, 45th president. You have the tarmac meeting st uh, uh, starring Hillary Clinton and the Clintons. You have the FISA gate, 
which uh, that's where we're watching the movie now. And then you have the future movie of Trump 2020. And he says, make liberals cry again. <laughs> that's great. Okay, so we have some good movies to watch. Okay, so Q then says, why did POTUS circumvent DNI codes, normal protocol for D class, and give authorization directly to AG Barr? Well, uh, DNI is a, a, the a director of national intelligence and uh, codes. Uh, normally, the president would D class through the, the, this director. However, uh, this time, um, through executive um, uh, um, executive privilege, or I mean, executive uh, order, uh, he gave uh, President Trump gave the authority to uh, the uh, Department of Justice or uh, Attorney General Barr. So that's the end of the Q post. Well, he's just, he's just getting it done. So that's the end of the Q post. Yes. Okay, well, let's go ahead and stop sharing here. Wow, you know, there's a lot more coming. We were just gonna go over these real quick with you. Uh, please go to our website at c-find.com and we will have an analysis of this uh, and we'll see if there's any more posts coming up and bring that to your attention also. And so um, please keep tuning back here on YouTube. We've got more to come. And we're getting ready to go back to Washington, D.C. for the next round of tribunals with KSM et al., which is going to be starting in uh, May uh, 2017, sure. or 19. <laughs> okay, May 17, 2019. June 17. June 17th. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're ready to end this video now, and uh, we'll look forward to talking to you soon. Good night, everybody. Good night.